Glenn Gary Glenn Ross is a 1992 dramatic film directed by James Foley, and it stars Jack Lemmon, Al Pacino, Ed Harris, and Alec Baldwin. We follow a group of real estate salesmen that happen to be down on their luck with terrible leads. Jack Lemmon plays Shelley Levine, also known as the machine around the office. Lemon is fantastic as a desperate man who used to have glory days and now struggles to get by with his daughter in the hospital. He's a toothy, quick-talking old man with an equal amount of energy and sleaziness that ultimately bites him back by the end of the film. The dialogue in this film is honestly some of the best I've ever heard. It's snappy, energetic, highly entertaining, and the banter is absolutely brought to life by the incredible cast that's involved. Nearly every actor gets their moment to shine with the wonderful writing done by David Mamet. Absolutely dynamite dialogue. I've talked about the art of the F-bomb used in movies, and Glenn Gary Glenn Ross comes to mind when I think of movies that use this word right. The flavor behind the word fuck in this film is seasoned very well. The pacing of the cursing and the anger and the banter behind it feels 100% natural. A young Alec Baldwin appears early on with a very memorable 10-minute performance. He berates and insults the salesman and makes them feel like dirt after going on about how rich he is and how shitty their luck happens to be. This guy points at the board and tells the group of scumbags that they must finish with the bad leads they have in order to keep their job. First prize is an El Dorado, second prize, a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. As much as I don't care for Alec Baldwin as a person, I always thought he was a great actor, and this brief role might be my favorite turn from him. Al Pacino pops up as Ricky Roma, the number one favorite salesman out of the group, who some of the other fellas can't stand. We find out that Roma has a lot of respect for Shelley Levine, and he's the one constantly referring to him as the machine the most. Pacino gives one of his best performances here, and he absolutely chews up the scene when he pops up. Roma is both intense and hilarious at the same time. He definitely has some of my favorite lines in the movie as well. What are you going to do about it, asshole? You fucking shit. Where did you learn your trade, you stupid fucking cunt, you idiot? Whoever told you that you could work with men? Pacino even has the most heartbreaking scene, in my opinion. And that's when Roma has to face the guy played by Jonathan Price after Williamson fucks up by telling the guy his check was cashed after telling Roma to cancel it. I always thought this scene was messed up and super heavy. Dave Moss, played by a fantastic Ed Harris, has nothing but bad things to say to pretty much everybody in the office. Harris has one of the best performances here out of an already A-list cast who all are doing a knock-it-out-the-park job, but Harris plays a volatile, angry grump who snaps at everybody who so much disagrees or banters with him. The only guy that Dave kind of gets along with is Arenal, played by the late great Alan Arkin, and Arenal is probably the most naive and somewhat kind of good guy out of the bunch of the salesmen here. The scumbag known as Kevin Spacey pops up playing a guy named Williamson. And I will admit, this is a good acting turn from Spacey. Williamson does have a weasel nature to him and a personality ugly comboed with the face that you really want to punch. Williamson is a mix between a coward and a guy whose shit doesn't stink. Ultimately, the leads in the office go missing, and a cop comes to interrogate everybody in the workspace. We come to find out that Shelley Levine and Dave Moss were the ones behind the leads being stolen, and the confrontation near the finale between Williamson and Shelley eventually leaves the old man to face what he's done, and he gives himself up as the film comes to an end. I grew up with this film, and I would have it on repeat for quite a bit, it was a treat to rewatch it after so many years, and it still holds up as one of my favorite films of all time. This movie is also an adaption of a stage play with the same name, which was also written by David Mamet. The play contained 378 performances running from March 1984 to February 1985. But moving on to my personal rating, 
I'm going to give Glenn Gary Glenn Ross a 10 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro. What do you think about this film? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I'm out. Bong. Peace. Fuck you. Fucking Shiva handed this guy a million dollars, told him sign the deal. He wouldn't sign. And the god Vishnu too into the bar. Fuck you, John.